Oops, sorry about it. Good morning, Delaware and Morrow counties. Uh, this is Todd Waltz. I'm the executive director of NAMI Delaware and Morrow County, and sitting next to me is Christina Wilson. She is our young adult coordinator, and um, this is one of our first uh, Facebook Lives that we're going to do here. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, new world right now, I guess. We are in day one of week one of kind of a lot of stuff being shut down. And uh, we just want to come on here today and, and encourage you. And, and we're talking a lot about physical health with the coronavirus. But one thing that we here at NAMI, uh, Delmore, Delaware Morrow Counties, want to also talk about is our mental health and having a good mental health during a uh, crisis like this. So, uh, Christina, you know, one thing that's really important is just kind of doing different things, right? Yes. yes. So, uh, what, what did you do this weekend? Anything kind of so, like exciting or fun? Or? Yeah, so, well, I mean, I don't know if you'd consider it to be exciting, um, but we basically needed to clean out some closets. Um, and there's just been stuff that we've just been putting off at our house. Um, we've lived in our house for a year, but there's just some projects we wanted to do. And so we did some cleaning out of our closets. We cleaned out our basement. Um, so we've been getting things organized, and so that feels good. <laughs> good, good. Now, yeah. you know, um, it was kind of like a different weekend for all of us. Yes. But uh, yes. this weekend, you know, being a guy, you know, I just kind of got a little innovative. Yeah. And now this next thing is especially... Uh, for some of you folks, you're either going to laugh about it or you're going to be like, ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, no. So I, I attempted for the first time to groom our golden doodle who's sitting over here on the floor next to me. You can't see him. Maybe you'll see him in a little bit. Um, and uh, that went pretty well. You know, we got the yeah. scissors out and the razors and everything, just trying to, like, you know, uh, trim him up and everything. But then I knew we were going to do a video today. And yeah. my hair you know, was just, you know, so kind of a little light on top. And so when it grows, I kind of get like that puffiness around the side that kind of makes me look like a clown. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that's got to go, right? But I couldn't get out to go get a haircut. Oh, so no. <laughs> for the first time in quite a number of years, you know, my wife, Laura, she uh, used to cut my hair. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, hey, honey, I, I need you to cut my hair. Oh, no. So we go looking through the drawers and we could not find any scissors. Oh, wow. And I'm like, okay, well, I've got to cut my hair. So. Yeah. I uh, pulled out a pair of scissors and she said, where'd you get these from? And I'm like, well, these are the ones that I use for the dog. <laughs> oh, wow. She's like, you don't want me to use those, do you? I'm like, well, I clean them off. I mean, it'll be yeah. okay. And so, yeah, so I got my hair cut using the dog grooming scissors, oh, right? Wow. So, yeah, either kind of funny or some of you are like, ooh, that's really disgusting. But they were clean. No, they were clean. At least so your hair okay. doesn't look like the dog's. I know. Because that would be, that would have gone. I, I almost, driving in today, I thought, you know, I should try and find a wig somewhere, a golden doodle wig. <laughs> yes. And be like, hey, this is me and this is my golden doodle. But yes. That, that would have been funny. That would have been so, great. Uh, some things we want to share with you maybe are uh, some things that would be helpful for us during this time. And, and we know that a lot of folks may be feeling uh, anxious or overwhelmed. And we just want to say that that feelings are okay. I mean, we're not trying to tell people not to feel a certain way uh, because these are things that we are going to feel and that is that is natural mm -hmm. uh, what we want to share is some things that we could do that would be maybe help us on this whole process uh, and when we might be feeling overwhelmed or a little bit anxious mm -hmm. things that could kind of just help us as we go through this journey here over the coming weeks and months so uh, you know kind of coming on the tail end of uh, that uh, story about cutting my hair with the dog scissors yeah uh, I think one of the things that we need to is laugh and have fun. You know, this is something really cool. We had a volunteer event, and uh, these were some centerpieces that one of our volunteers, uh, Sandy Young, did an awesome job at that event. And uh, live, laugh, and love. And you can see that laugh is very prominent there. And I think part during this is laughing and having fun. Yeah. Right? There's so much to laugh about this. Like, there's so many memes and jokes on the internet right now that Absolutely. are so funny. Um, and that's, I think that's part of the thing that I've enjoyed about it is just watching all the jokes because it's horrible, but it, there is something funny about it. <laughs> and, and that's the thing is looking for the humor because humor is healthy. And actually here at NAMI, you know, one of our principles support is, you know, that we will embrace humor, yeah. right? So, yeah. uh, and some, for some of us that might be, you know, it might be a little help. So look on, uh, you know, 
Netflix and some other places and you know look for some good comedies. Yes. You know, can you think of any good comedies that would just, you know, make you laugh? Ooh. I can think of one right away. It's one of my most favorite. Yeah. What about Bob? Oh. <laughs> that is a classic. Yes, I love I that. Seen that is hilarious. I heard it's really, really good. Yeah. How about um, you? Any any comedies you can think of? Oh my goodness. I'm always bad when I'm like put on the spot with movies, but I do love comedies. I'm trying to think of what my favorite comedy would be. Oh, I don't know. There's so many. There's um, so many. Netflix has a ton of them, so you can search yes. through. So, but laugh and have some fun, right? Figure out something to do that, that yes. you just enjoy. Uh, and number two is, uh, you know, we could we could choose to look at this uh, whole situation and mm -hmm. just become a, as a big downer, right? Yeah. But I think yeah. reframing it, that was a good word you used. Yeah. Reframing and having a new perspective of mm -hmm. what this could mean for us. So yeah. how would we do that? What are some things we could think of, do you think? Yeah, so reframing is so important for like so many situations in your life, but especially going through something such as the pandemic that we're going through right now, um, it's really important to reframe this as, you know, oh, we're, you know, instead of thinking like we're going through this crisis, we have to stay at home, we can't live our normal lives, as to more thinking about it as, um, you know, this is an opportunity to do the things I haven't been able to do, the things that I put off, the, the good book that I haven't had time to read, the game I wanted to play with my family, but just haven't had time. And so I think that it's a really, really good time to just utilize those opportunities and this time that we have to be able to do those things that we've been wanting to do so much. Yeah, yeah, looking for those new opportunities. Uh, family time is definitely yeah. important. I mean, just sitting down and playing a game. I yeah. mean, that's sometimes things that we have not done yes. in a long time. Yes, uh, so sure. that could be a lot of fun. New hobbies, you know, things yes. you've been, you know, getting out those crochet that crochet needle or those knitting needles or yeah. you know anything like that. Painting, yes. art, you yes. know, writing a poem, writing oh, yeah. stories. I mean, anything like that. I love I mean, decorating is... my house, so that's what I've been doing <laughs> is just getting out lots of decorations and just moving everything around and. It's nice. That is awesome. So just yeah. kind of reframing and, and kind of looking at things from a new perspective. Yes. Uh, spending time outside. Now, that's really important. Hopefully, you know, we're supposed to be kind of in the 50s here in Delaware, Morrow counties. Uh, yes. And so hopefully that, that'll be warm enough. Maybe we'll get some nice, good sunshine. Uh, yes. But organizing your garage could be something yeah. that would, would be, uh, you know, help you out. Cleaning your car or yard work. Yard yes. work. I know you mentioned that you guys had just bought a house. Any yard yes. work that you've had? Kind of on the plans that you would want to make sure you get done yeah so well we're kind of um in the process of maybe prepping for thinking about doing a patio so kind of just you know figuring out that and maybe just getting um like our yard prep so that everything looks nice um planning kind of what flowers we might want to put around you know the patio and things like that so just kind of you know thinking about all of that and getting out there and kind of picturing what might look good in the future. <laughs> so really you mentioned a comment, doing it, planning it, yeah. prepping it yeah. are all things that are very, very helpful. Yard work for me, mine's kind of simple. So we live in the country yeah, and uh, we've, we've had some visitors this winter and oh, no. with not having frozen ground. Yes. So either skunks or raccoons oh. uh, have been digging up our yard and digging up our grass everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it looks horrible. It's just oh, a, no. a lot of mud everywhere yeah. because they're getting at those grubs that are underneath that that uh, just weren't frozen or anything. Oh, and no. So, yeah, so they've been digging that up. So mine's pretty simple, and that's just, you know, kind of raking all that up and yes. getting some grass seed and hopefully oh, yeah. planting some of that grass seed, having some new life, yeah. you know, start yeah. to, to form there and all that. So, nice. yeah, so that'll be helpful. And, and also, you know, be a little bit fun getting out. There's nothing yeah. like breathing some good old fresh air. For sure. You know, getting outside. For sure. Animal time. Animal time is awesome. So you have an animal. Tell us about your I do. animal. So I have a dog, her name is Sophie. She's really small, she's only 10 pounds. Um, and she loves when we're at home with her. So this is her favorite time right now. Um, in the midst of everyone else in a crisis, she is so happy um, and she just wants to snuggle and she just is so happy that we're home to spend time with her. So um, yeah, she is definitely taking advantage of having some company around the house instead of us you know, um, right now my husband's at home with her. He's working from home. And so that's yeah you know, nice for her. <laughs> just kind of be, hey, Elias, Elias, trying to get uh, the golden doodle. Hey, <laughs> Look over here and say hi. He's just looking at me like, are you crazy? He's, he's napping on the floor. He well, attempted maybe, to eat some candy earlier. Maybe before, you know, <laughs> the end of the, we're, before we're done here live, uh, maybe I'll come up and steal some more treats off the, yeah. the table. 
I laid some out here before we started, thinking I could entice him, and he came and stole them before we even got started. So, uh, but Elias <laughs> is our golden golden doodle. Uh, he is just a, a, you know, just a bundle of joy and a lot of fun to cuddle with and spend time and pet and and take on the yard and play with and you know, just cuddling up with an animal. You know, yes. I, and I, and I'd be remiss unless I mentioned we also have Lily. Lily is. Uh, a little Maltese, you know, she's probably about, uh, about, you know, maybe a little bigger than your dog. Yeah, um, yeah. So she's at home too, but just having that time to spend with our animals, that really helps relax, get our mind off some things, refocus, yeah. reframe, uh, so that's also helpful. Yeah, uh, sure. I, and I think we have to mention, you know, the, the fifth thing is turn off the news. Yes. Um, I think it's good, you know, once a day, twice a day, max, you know, maybe get the updates on mm -hmm. what's going on, because we all want to know what's going on. Uh, but to spend, you know, the entire day watching the news yeah. uh, makes it real difficult for yes. us to uh, to really start to enjoy the time that we have and to maybe have that opportunity to reframe. That was a real lesson for me. I remember back to 9-11. Uh, we had our TV on nonstop for a period of a couple days, mm -hmm. and that was just not helpful at all for anybody. Uh, so that's really where I learned and, and look back and, and learn some things. Is you know, just we don't need to be watching the news yeah. all the time. And, yeah. and quite frankly, there's you know a lot of the news people like to speculate because they like to to lead with the drama. And, yes, um, drama does not help us. No, and they don't know all the facts. No, they don't. They don't know all the facts, and a lot of it is repeat news until they get a new piece. Of information and they just keep repeating it and that can be very depressing <laughs> yes absolutely absolutely yeah uh, another thing stay connected with our friends yes. so even though we are supposed to stay away and say you know uh, what they call it social distancing, social distancing. which That's I want to point practicing. out yes we are practicing <laughs> social distancing here so before we we went live we got our longest table and to make sure we're at least three feet apart three to six feet apart uh, but you can see that we're, we're still able to function. So reaching out to our friends, and there's various ways we can communicate with friends, right? Yes. Stay yes. connected with them. Stay connected. Um, you know, you can, you know, this is the age of social media and technology. So at the very least, message them on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter and check in or, or uh, text them or video chat. You know, you, there's so many different ways that you can come in contact with people without actually being um, right next to them. <laughs> yes. Uh, another thing, help others. Yes. That's very help. That not only helps other people, it helps us. Yes. Uh, so figure out how we can help others. If we're going to the grocery store, call our neighbors and say, hey, you know, I'm heading down to Kroger. Yes. Uh, do you need anything? Need me to pick anything yes. up for you? Or, you know, getting somebody's mail out of their mailbox, yes. you know, checking in on uh, elderly the folks elderly, that are yeah. our neighbors. Absolutely. Um, you know, just kind of making sure that we can, you know, reach out you know, help others in any way we can. Yeah. Sometimes that reaching out is going back to what we said before, and that's staying connected. Yeah. Right? Just pick up the phone yeah. calls and say, hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. How's it going? So let's spend a little time talking. Oh, yeah. I can't come over and have tea, but you know what? You get your cup of tea, I'll get my cup of tea, and we'll talk <laughs> on the phone, right? Yes. That's a good idea, you know? Um, and it makes you feel so good just to have that connection and just be able to talk to someone, even if it's not face-to-face, -face, if it's just over the phone, you know, it makes you feel so much better just to be able to know like, oh, you know, we're still there for each other. We can still communicate. We can still connect, but we don't have to be right in front of each other. Absolutely. Nature, one of my favorites. That is another thing, really enjoying nature. Yes. Uh, what are some of your favorite things about nature and uh, to help us understand what yeah. are alternate things we can do? And a York pepper and patty is not nature, but you know what? Sometimes the commercial <laughs> says, right? Like you bite into it. That's sometimes one way like to look at wave, it. Wave, right? That's definitely but sometimes one way it to just, look at it. You know, hey, little bite of a pepper and red patty. You're good. Yeah. I, my favorite things about nature are just getting out and walking and like noticing the beauty and how everything is just, just so unique and so beautiful. And like, especially at, you know, um, sunset, it's so pretty. Um, mm -hmm. I think at any time of year, you can really get out and enjoy that. Um, and so I think that's probably one of my favorite things. I love taking walks outside. Um, my dog appreciates it when I take her for a walk. So, you know, it's yeah. a win-win. That's kind of what, uh, another thing we did this weekend is Laura and I got out on the, the walking trail and just went for a nice walk. Yeah. Took the dogs out, yeah. went for a nice walk, enjoyed the, the nice air and, uh, and just being outside. And, and we have to be mindful, I think. That's one thing is being mindful of what's around us because late last night, Laura's like, hey, did you see the sunset? And I realized, no, my back was to the sliding glass window. I did not Aww. see one part of that 
sunset and I guess yeah. it was beautiful. Oh, wow. So, you know, it's just, it does take us, you know, just actually, you know, being very mindful of what's around us, you know, whether it's the, the plants that are starting to come up, the nice green plants, the flowers are coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, the birds are just awesome, yes. like in our backyard. I mean, we yes. have some bird feeders, so you just hear the birds singing, uh, which is really amazing and really yeah. just comforting, too. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think last night I went out and looked at the, the stars. You know, it was pretty dark. And, yeah. and the cool thing to think about is that the, the stars were very bright last night. They were just as bright as they were a month ago. They're just as bright as they're going to be a month from now. And that helps kind of put, you know, some perspective on things too as well. So just really getting out in nature, enjoying, you know, yeah. the, you know what the creation and everything that's out there I think is really cool. Absolutely. So, and, uh, you know, there are times that a lot of us, you know, may start to feel anxious or overwhelmed yeah. or just really, you know, struggle with being depressed. And um, so doing some mindfulness activities mm -hmm. that really help bring us back to, you know, the here and now. Uh, that will give us the opportunity to focus on some of these other activities. So what are some mindfulness activities that we can do uh, that would that would help us? Yeah, I really like deep breathing. And um, several years back, I was taught the proper way to do it. And um, so there's actually a really neat way. And you can actually touch your stomach to feel like your diaphragm and those breaths. And so what you want to do is completely exhale till it feels like your stomach's flat. And then you want to completely inhale with your mouth until it feels like your stomach is completely full and you can't take in any more air in your lungs. And then you just breathe out as slow as you possibly can. It feels so good and it's so relaxing and it really just kind of um, puts your mind at ease when you might have some anxiety. Yes, another one is um, just kind of uh, doing the five, four, three, two, one exercise, which is uh, what are five things that you can see around you? This really helps to bring you and ground you back into the here and now. So sometimes, you know, uh, I just let my mind kind of like run away, like, oh my gosh, things are getting really bad. And now yeah. they close the restaurants and bars and yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, pretty soon the grocery store and this and that. And you start <laughs> thinking of all the worst case scenarios, yeah. which is not in the here and now. So it's, you know, contributing to my anxious feelings. Mm -hmm. So doing one of these exercises, like what are five things that I can see right now? Right now in this room, I can see a camera. I can see Christine. I can see a board. I can see my dog. Uh, what are four things that I can hear? You know, mm -hmm. I just heard the, the furnace come on. Um, I could hear the birds tweeting outside. So just kind of naming these things that right now currently I can I can hear. What are three things I can feel? I can feel the texture of this this tablecloth on the table, my notepad, my laptop, you know, my, my treat bag, trying to get my dog to come over <laughs> here and he's still laying down taking a nap. Um, two things that I can smell. I can smell that York peppermint patty that I just ate. Uh, and I the can Lysol also smell wipes. some of these Lysol wipes, right? Uh, and one thing that I can taste, and you're, uh, you're duplicating, <laughs> but I can taste the, still taste that mintiness yes. of that York peppermint patty. But you know, doing exercises like that just kind of bring me back to the here and now, help me ground myself so that I can be like, okay, now I can take a deep breath. Okay, now let me focus on laughing and having fun or reframing or spending time outside or just kind of scooping up my animal and you know, petting them and just kind of enjoying them. And uh, so that that's really important. And then, uh, lastly, we would just want to make sure stay connected with NAMI. Mm -hmm. Although the situation today uh, has caused us to cancel our live classes, our live support groups, uh, all the other functions that we were planning, uh, we are here and we are going to continue on to support you and to help you where needed. Our offices are still open, so you can call us 740-815-1767. Uh, if need be, we have information here you can stop by and pick up. You know, we are just so um, fortunate to be funded by the Delaware Morrow Mental Health and Recovery Services Board. And I know that they are uh, also working with a lot of the providers in the area to maintain the support and services that are needed uh, during times like this uh, for those of us who are struggling with our mental, mental health or any addiction issues. Um, Wanted to let you know, always check notalonohio.org. That's our website. And you will see some announcements coming up here. We are going to be uh, converting to online uh, programs really quickly this week. So you'll actually start to see support groups that will be online where you can either join in from your telephone or log in on your computer and uh, you know use some video conferencing to join into support groups. Hopefully by next week, we will have our classes online. So again, we'll actually have our instructors 
video conferencing and you from home can log in to continue on with your family to family class or your peer to peer class. We'll be doing a number of uh, uh, opportunities here on Facebook Live and posting on Facebook as well as Instagram. And so we still are here for you. We are still going to be providing services. We are going to be starting to shoot some videos uh, for students in high schools and middle schools. So we, we unfortunately can't do our Ending the Silence program in schools right now. However, we're going to be producing videos that are going to provide some of that same information that we'll put out on Facebook, Instagram. So if you are a teacher, you can start to look for that and refer your students to those. If you're yeah. a parent or a student, uh, yeah. just be watching for, for some of those things. So we are going to be provi providing a lot of online opportunities uh, to really connect provide information, provide support, education, all, this, all the great things that we're, we do here at NAMI. And like I said, you know, we're fortunate enough that we're able to do that because of the, the support that we get from the Delaware Moral Mental Health and Recovery Services Board, and uh, as well as some other sponsors. So mm -hmm. uh, look for those. We'll be having some uh, different guests each day. Uh, so today, like I said, Christina is our young adult coordinator. So Christina, you wanna talk a little bit about where, what we're focusing on with young adults? Yeah, so young adults, um, you know, that's a very interesting um, society that they have to live in right now um, with the anxiety, you know, at school and just the different things that they have to deal with. And so we are actually focusing right now on creating a program where we can teach young adults um, about self-care and about emotional regulation and all of these things at a young age so they can learn how to self-soothe and work through difficult situations and problems such as the pandemic <laughs> um, and uh, so we're really looking forward to that and that's um, in the process um, and of course and the 18 to 30 crowd too so talk yes, a little bit about that we've really 30, seen growth in that area we've so. seen a lot of growth we are uh, we've started one support group at Ohio Wesleyan University um, so that has already taken off mm -hmm. and so we have um, a connections recovery support group there and then we also are going to do another um, support group for young adults we're working on getting that um, set up right now and so that's just going to focus on our 18 to 30 crowd um, which is unique, I think, than you know, just the regular crowd sometimes that we have at support groups, and we want to make sure it's more tailored to them and tailored to the things that they're dealing with right now. Yeah. So again, notalonohio.org, that will lead you right to our main website, and we are going to have posted on there links that you can use to get connected for our support groups that are going to be online. Uh, if you are in a class right now that is peer-to-peer uh, -peer or family-to-family, -family, we will be emailing to you sometime in the next week or so a link that you can use to get online for that class. And then continuing to monitor us here on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, yeah. We would really want to make sure that we're providing uh, opportunities uh, for, for you to stay connected as well as to continue to provide that support and education that we do here at NAMI. Yeah. Uh, so you also have an opportunity to meet a whole different number of people here this week. So some of our volunteers will be joining me, uh, some of our other staff. And so watch for us here on Facebook. Possibly an elephant. And uh, remember, <laughs> and possibly what? An elephant. An elephant, yes. So we talked about having our elephant in the room possibly be one of our guests. Yes. So we may do that as well. And uh, if Elias gets over his bashfulness, with which, you know, our, our golden doodle Elias, he's not usually bashful, but right now... He's just still napping. So maybe tomorrow, <laughs> maybe tomorrow you meet him. He'll jump right up here and you'll see how much fun he is. He wasn't is. napping earlier. Yeah. He wasn't. But we want to encourage you, you know, despite what's going on around us, you know, live, laugh, and love. Until next time, thank you. This is Todd with NAMI and Christina. And we will see you next time um, here on our Facebook Live.